Welcome back. This module describes four advanced printer profiling options. Linearization, OBC correction, profile optimization, and color checker proof. If you haven't already, you'll want to watch the advanced printer profiling module first. Let's talk about linearization for a minute. If you recall, I mentioned it when we were defining patch sets in the advanced printer profiling video. Linearization is only an option for CMYK profiling, not RGB. Linearization optimizes your inks before you print your test chart to improve the predictability of your output. Some printer software includes linearization tools. If yours does, use them. If not, i1 Profiler includes some that can help you linearize your device. Keep in mind the file will be unique to this specific printer or press and media combination, so you'll need to create a new one whenever anything changes. To create a linearization file, click Printer Linearization. On the Patch Set screen, define the number of steps per channel. 28 patches per color is usually a good starting point. You can also scramble them. X-Rite recommends you mark this box to improve the quality of your measurements. The test chart and measurement screens work just like when we created an ICC profile. If you need a refresher, watch the Advanced Printer Profiling module for the steps. Save the chart. Print it. Then measure it. Click the Linearization button to continue. Give your linearization file a name and click Create to create the linearization file. Click on the arrow next to Create Profile with Linearization and it will automatically apply to your patch set in your profile workflow. For more information about using i1 Profiler's linearization tools, see the help file. In the Advanced Printer Profiling module, I also mentioned OBC. If your media contains a lot of optical brightening agents, you can use OBC, Optical Brightener Correction, in the profiling workflow to help correct for the UV effects these optical brighteners cause. Using an i1 ISIS automated chart reader, i1 Profiler can capture both UV included and UV excluded measurements and create an evaluation chart based on the differences between these measurements. On the i1 Profiler homepage, under Workflow Selection, select Printer OBC Profiling. This will create an OBC step in the normal profile workflow, just after measurement. If you haven't already, complete the patch set, test chart, and measurement steps. Click on the OBC button. Select matte or glossy paper. Click on Generate Gray Chart to generate the chart, then print it. Once the chart has been printed, use the gray guides included with your i1 ISIS to evaluate your neutrals under the lighting conditions for which you're optimizing. Enter the results for your visual evaluation into i1 Profiler. A red box will appear around each letter you select, showing the neutral value. Continue through the rest of the workflow. Adding the OBC steps will create a UV-optimized ICC profile for your specific lighting conditions. The help file provides more specific information about UV effects and how to use the i1 Profiler OBC tool to correct for optical brighteners. Printer Profile Optimization allows you to optimize or improve your profile around important colors you work with. Click Profile Optimization from the Workflow Selections option. From the Source Profile dropdown, select the profile you wish to optimize. You have three options for generating patches to optimize your ICC profile. Smart Patch Generator will generate additional patches for areas where additional data would help to stabilize the profile. Patches from Spot Colors will load colors from Pantone Color Manager to drag and drop into i1 Profiler. Using Pantone Color Manager, create a custom palette. Select Export from the File menu and choose i1 Profiler. The resulting CXF file can be used to optimize the profile based on those key colors. 
or just drag and drop colors from Pantone Color Manager into i1 Profiler. Patches from Images allows you to choose an image and extract the dominant colors to optimize the profile. If you do a lot of portrait or product photography, or often print those types of images, this is a good option for you. Select an image and i1 Profiler will generate a test chart with the key colors from that image. This will improve the color accuracy of the profile based on those key colors. Any of the three methods can be combined with each other. Complete the rest of the workflow. The resulting profile will be optimized around the colors that are most important to you. Color Checker Proof is a modified version of the Color Checker Classic for use in evaluating your profile quality. Each patch has a hole in the middle, so when you place it on top of a print, the color will show through for visual evaluation. From the Workflow Selection options, select Color Checker Proof. From the Assets pane on the left, expand the ICC Profiles drop-down. Select the profile you wish to check and drag and drop it onto the color checker image on the bottom of the screen. Once the profile has been added, the color space will automatically be selected. When checked, the out of gamut indicator will show you which colors can't be reproduced because they're beyond the gamut of your printer or press. Colors with a line through them indicate that they are out of gamut. Other colors should reproduce well. You can either print the target to a network printer or save it to print through a RIP. When the print is dry, place the color checker proof target on top and judge the matches. If the color checker proof is not matching visually, there are a couple things you can try. First, make sure the ICC profile you created was implemented correctly in your printer workflow. If the light colors are off, this may be due to an optical brightening agent in your media. If you're working with an inkjet RIP, different settings such as print speed and individual ink channel limits will affect the range of colors that can be reproduced. Check with your RIP vendor for more details on these settings. Some media and ink combinations have a limited gamut, so try another combination to see if you get better results. If you're judging under a poor light source, such as typical office fluorescent, you may find it helpful to measure the ambient light and create a custom illuminant profile, instead of using a profile that was created for D50 daylight. As you can see, these advanced printer profiling options provide even more control for customizing your results with i1 Profiler. Experiment with these settings to find the results that work best for you or arrange a training session with one of our experienced color experts for customized guidance to help you reach your goals.